So I'm just doing a short video to hopefully help Awake Souls understand the second error in his video where he claims it's not possible for the sun to rise at 090 degrees and set at 270 degrees on the equinox all over the earth. And what I'm going to do is just use this model and I'm going to use this small ruler to represent the sun's rays. And for the purpose of this video, let's say that the sun is on the right hand side of the screen. So it's out of view, but the sun's rays are coming in from the right hand side like that. Now the current orientation of the globe is how it would appear to the sun's rays during the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere, which is on June 21st. Now during that time, at midday, the sun is directly above the Tropic of Cancer, like that. So that if you're standing at the Tropic of Cancer, at local noon, there will be no shadow. But we're not really concerned about that for this uh, presentation. What we're concerned about is the line that is called the Terminator, the day-night Terminator. Now remember, if the sun is on the right-hand side of us, the right half of this globe will be in daylight, and the left half of this globe will be in the night. And where it changes from day to night is actually called the Terminator. You'll see the Terminator is vertically up and down. The Terminator of day and night is always at right angles to the sun's rays. So sun's rays are coming in like that. The day-night Terminator will be like that. And you'll notice that if we were to look at where the sun's rays cross the day-night Terminator, they're not aligned with the lines of latitude. You know, whether we go up or north or south latitude, we are not going to have the sun rising at 090 degrees. It's not going to happen on June 21st. If we then move forward three months and we go to September the 22nd, which is the autumnal equinox, which is the one we've just had, we now have this orientation. Okay, let's just assume that this uh, frame on the globe is now the day-night terminator. Remember we said the day-night terminator is always vertical in this example because the sun, sun's rays are coming from the right hand side. So now it's fairly easy to visualize that those sun's rays, if they're completely level with the, with the actual picture frame and the day-night terminator is vertical, then the sun's rays are crossing the day-night terminator at 90 degrees in all locations. And that actually means that if you look at the local latitude, right at the point where we have day changing to night, the sun's rays are perfectly aligned with the lines of latitude. That means the sun is rising at 090 degrees. Now, what I, what I can do is just link to another video where I have actually demonstrated this um, on September 22nd in a place called Broome in Australia by measuring the sun angle and confirming that it did actually set exactly 270 degrees and I've got another video showing that it actually rose at 090 degrees. But uh, the main point we're trying to convey here is that on the equinox the tilt of the earth is completely irrelevant to the angle of the sun's rays at the day-night terminator. Okay, now remember we said this is the autumnal equinox. Let's just look six months different to that, okay, where we have the vernal equinox. And I'm just going to line up, just for simplicity of the, uh, the demonstration, this is the international date line. So let's just say at that particular time, the international date line is right there. That is the day-night terminator, remembering sun's rays are always coming from the right in this demonstration. So let's have a look at the angle of those sun's rays. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. It's always lined up with the lines of latitude. So you can see the sun's rays are always going to be approaching from 090 at sunrise and setting at 270 at sunset. Okay, hopefully that visual demonstration will uh, enable Awake Souls to, to finally realise the error in his logic.